Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Green Onion Vintage. As you saw a second ago, today I am shopping through the Purple Ottoman, which is located in Bethalto, Illinois. This is at least the second time I've taken you guys through this shop. It might even be the third time, um, but it is just my absolute favorite local in my area. Um, a lot of times this shop is actually out traveling doing shows, and so they're not open super often at their local shop, but every time they are, I try to get out here and do a video for you guys. I just think the owner is so talented at all of her vignettes. They're so, so beautiful. It is really hard to top this shop and just her assortment of antiques and vintage items. Um, it's really just like nothing else I've ever seen. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the store, just let you guys look around. And in my next video, I'll show you a few things that I bought and um, I'm gonna upcycle a couple of them into something I think will be really beautiful. Um, just for now though, I will let you guys look around and then I'll pop in here and there to tell you um, some of my favorite things that I see. And please don't mind any squealing baby noises in the background. He's just playing, but he's a noisy little guy. I absolutely love how she's repurposing all of these old clock faces. Um, I'm assuming most of these came out of clocks that no longer worked and I just love how they look all put together like this. So when I'm out shopping now, I am definitely looking for clocks that I can repurpose in the same way. I am trying to make kind of like a display wall over my piano area and I think just adding in some of these clocks faces would be a really pretty way to do that. The ones that she has are a little pricier than I want to pay, but they're really true antique and they have like a lot of the metal backing. So I'm going to try to see if I can thrift maybe a cheaper version for myself. Um, I, I go to enough yard sales and thrift stores that I should be able to find some on my own. But if you don't have as much time as I do to go thrifting, I would definitely buy the ones she has in her shop because they're such a good variety and they're so pretty and I just love how they look all together. She also had a lot of crockery right there and I did buy a little crock canister I hadn't really seen in the size that I got before. So I went ahead and grabbed that to add it to my collection because I have a lot of crockery at my house too. This particular display is so beautiful. I love just all the old wood elements in the leather. I, I don't even know. I just could have like looked at this all day long. I did end up grabbing one of those wood fiddles slash violins. I'm gonna hang that over my piano too. Um, and in addition to like our actual instruments, we have a mandolin at our house, a guitar and a ukulele. So I think it'd be really cool to just, just display all of those musical instruments together. Um, but then adding in those antique violins, I think that'll be really pretty. Um, but that display is just so amazing. Um, she sources a lot from antique auctions nearby um, But some of this I really don't know where she gets it because it's just some of the coolest antiques I've ever seen filmed this uh, right before 4th of July, so I'm a little late getting it out to you guys. Um, but I liked her red, white, and blue display here, so I wanted to share that with you guys. I don't always do this in my booth. I haven't found that 4th of July merchandise really sells very well. Um, so we go more for seasonal um, looks in our booth rather than actual holidays. I mean, sometimes we'll have like specific things for Easter. That seems to sell a little bit better. And then, of course, Christmas. But 
in general, especially some of the summer holidays, we haven't really found it worthwhile to go too far into the 4th of July, but I do really enjoy how she did like kind of a red, white, and blue theme here. And everything that she has is just so unique. You look through here, um, just some really, really original stuff. And if you guys are interested in buying anything, she actually has a really active Etsy shop where she sells and ships her antique pieces. So I'm going to make sure I have all of the Purple Ottomans contact info down below and where you guys can shop with her. So make sure that you're following her on Instagram especially because that is where she posts all of her opening dates for her local shop as well as all of the shows that she's traveling to and you can find her Etsy information. Obviously carrying on the red, white, and blue theme over here, that red drawer piece there on the right is so cool. And something I'm keeping an eye out for are the felt pennants like you're seeing right there. Those have gotten really popular lately um, and pretty pricey. So I'm always trying to find those at yard sales and stuff where I can get them for a really good deal. I don't see them too often, but that is something I'm always shopping for. And then I bought a lot of cool canisters from her in the past too. Um, so you see those kind of all throughout the store. And I know she has those on her Etsy site too. So if you want to check out her canister collection, it's just like the most canisters I've ever seen in one store. And they're all vintage and antique and they're just really, really cool. They have a ton of character and I really just like them as like display pieces on a shelf. Of course, I love this area of her shop because it's a mixture of green and old wood and copper, which is just what I like to do in my store as well. There was a few old cupboard doors sitting on the floor there for $10 each. I grabbed all four of those and I'm going to do some kind of chalkboard upcycling project um, with those. That's what I was talking about earlier. So um, a couple of them, I think I'm going to strip down with some um, paint stripper and I've never tried that before on these I might just do one of them and see how that turns out But I think I have like a pretty cool idea for that So you guys should subscribe and see what I do with those doors. You can see them right now on the left there They're just a cool stack um, But what a really cool collection of copper she has there. I love that green cubby piece That would be so cool to have in a house um, And then again, just some more vintage canisters Some more of those like felt cutouts that feel like very varsity jacket I really love that look. And then I also like the red plaid as if it's like an old cabin, like a very lumberjack feel. So she is, she's really just mixing together all of my favorite things here in this area. And as you might remember, uh, the Purple Ottoman has so much vintage Christmas. Um, if you want to go back to my last video there, um, which I probably posted last November or December, um, her whole store was Christmas and it's amazing. She has just the best collection of antique Christmas I've ever seen. Um, just a variety of like old Santas that she has throughout the shop. They're so cool. Very, very valuable. Um, I mean, you're looking at some very like high end collectible antique Christmas right here. So she had this kind of front room set up for Christmas in July. 
Um, and I loved looking through there. But if you want to see more of her Christmas stuff, um, you should definitely go back to my last video where I did a full Christmas tour. And then check out our Etsy site. Thanks so much for shopping with me today, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.